What's up guys, Tyler here, welcome back to a brand new video. So, in this video will be a little bit different. So, this video I'll be talking about James Gunn's new DCU or DC Studios slate that he announced about, probably about a week ago. So, I thought, or actually I think it's very interesting because I knew that some of the stuff will be uh, on on dealers characters like for example booster gold i knew knew if it's in one of the dudes you series on booster gold he would probably do it but uh the authority i, I guess it's going to be pretty interesting i don't know much about them uh but to the but coming to the big stuff the lanterns i am excited for that that's going to be very interesting multiple green lanterns including how jordan and uh john stewart and probably some others and then, oh, what else? Uh, I forgot the name of uh, that team that's similar to Howling Commandos. If anyone knows the name of that team, other let me know. I know the team, but I just forgot the name at the moment. But anyway, uh, then uh, later on, the Swamp Thing movie. That's pretty interesting. But the main things I really want to talk about is, I guess, the Superman and the Batman aspect. Of it all so we're getting a new Superman so a new Superman movie will be coming out in like 2025 uh, Superman Legacy we're gonna get a younger Superman that's pretty interesting we're gonna get a Supergirl movie that's gonna be pretty interesting too but the main thing I really wanted to talk about was the new Batman or Batman movie should I say Brave and the Bold now I like the title very interesting but the thing that I'm kind of ticked off about it a little bit. It's very little. Is that Damian Wayne is going to be Robin already? That's the thing. Because I thought if this is going to be a clean reboot, why not just start fresh? Have Batman with Dick Grayson as Robin. Then eventually he'll become Nightwing later on. Then you get the other Robins. And then when he's much older, when well, Batman's much older, have Damian Wayne as Robin. So, but apparently now, I guess, because everyone in the mother's saying that. And they're going to have an older Batman come back. And obviously it will probably be a, from these three, which would be uh, Val Kilmer, George Clooney, or Christian Bale. So we know it's not George Clooney and Val Kilmer. He can't talk. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I would love to see him come back as Batman. But I don't think he's physically able to do it. So obviously that will count those two out, leaving, leaving Christian Bale. So... I like the Dark Knight trilogy, but I like a more comic accurate Batman with my Batman movies. So, to me, I just think that they should get Ben Affleck back as Batman since he's already in his 50s. So, it would make a lot more sense instead of getting Christian Bale's Batman back. Because I just think that they shouldn't touch with or mess with the Dark Knight trilogy since it ended on a. On a, what do we call it? On a high note. So, so, but, but I'm I'm very surprised that that uh, they'll actually even get him back. Like I said, if anything does happen with him, I will do another video about all this. But I just want to hop on here real quick and and talk about it. Cause to me, I always want to see Dick Grayson as Robin first, done properly in the DCU with Ben Affleck. So, so we have to do get Christian Bale. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Cause I'm not gonna lie. Uh, after the Christian Bale movies ended, I did want to see the next live action Batman have the comic accurate suit with the black and gray. And Zack Snyder gave it to us with Batman v Superman with Ben Affleck as Batman. That's interesting. So, and the thing I'm also concerned about is if Christian Bale does come back. Will he be Batman for 10 years? That's my question. I think it's because he'll be a lot older than the rest of the cast members. Because apparently The Flash is supposed to reboot some of the characters, but not all of them. I'm, in my mind, I'm like, to me, I just don't feel that that's right. Keeping Viola Davis as Amanda Waller and maybe Moa as Aquaman and Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. It's cool, which I, which I love those, those characters, but introducing a new Superman and a new Batman, I'm like, 
Why? 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 Why even do that for? Just me, just get Cavill back and then just do a movie where you maybe, I guess, de-age him a little bit or something like that. To me, they could do it. And with Affleck, he's already in his 50s. They could easily do a Batman, Batman movie with him and David Wendell's Robin. So I just want to see the Bat family done right. So I get what they're going for, but if you got a young Superman and other cast members going on from older movies, it's just, I don't know. So, like I said, we know it's not going to be Michael Keaton. So, is that, that idea was going to be really weird. But I guess we'll have to see what happens. So, so if it ends up being Ben Affleck, I'm all, I'm all for that. But at the same time, I have to also think Henry Cavill's not, not Superman anymore. So, it's like, it's, it's really weird. So, uh, I would find it, I find it, I would find it really funny if all the recasting, all the, all the recasting is BS and, and the original cast is still going to stay. That would be really funny. But at the same time, same time, it's like, why'd you get pe people upset for no reason? So, but anyway, because we just got Henry Cavill back a few months ago with Black Adam and now, 52 days after that, he announced that he's not Superman anymore. So, uh, to me, as a DC fan, I just want to see everything done right. And to me, me, I would rather be a new Batman. He's older, older, or really Ben Affleck. But for the sake of casting, I'd rather be a new Batman. We already know it's not gonna be Pattinson's Batman, so I'm glad that's not gonna happen. Pattinson is decent as Batman, but for what they're going for, it doesn't really fit. The tone they're gonna go for. So, so that's my take on the whole new Batman thing. So if we get a new Batman, I'm fine with that. If it's Christian Bale, we we'll have to see because I do love the black and gray suit. So we'll have to see how that plays. But anyway, so that's all for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.